For this achievement, you have to power up and defeat the Otoma, who is located on one of the islands before the boss. Have a Death Knight grip the mob into the boss's room and start the fight. Now you need to go add close to it to power it up. At 20 energy, the Otoma will activate. It is important that you prioritize killing him. Once you have defeated the Otoma, it will transfer its energy to the defense matrix. Once you have killed the Otoma, you can kill the boss to get this achievement. For this achievement, you have to kill a colossal ramcrafter and carry the orb it drops through the fight without getting hit by any avoidable ability. Have someone pick up the orb and pull the boss. I would highly recommend giving it to a mage. Either blink or pass the orb to others while crossing the halos. Passing can be a little tricky since the range on it is pretty low. Kill the boss while still holding the orb to get his achievement. For this achievement, you have to pet 5 corgis during Wild Stampede. On the left side, you will find a paw print that will activate the corgis during Wild Stampede. Start the fight and push the boss to the second phase. During Wild Stampede, have your raid stack close to the corgis. The corgis will disappear when someone has pet it, but as long as you're in the range, you will also get credit for it. Keep having your raid close to the corgis and wait until everyone has 5 stacks on the debuff. At some point during phase 2, the corgis will stop spawning. Simply push the boss to the third phase to get more of them. Once everyone in the raid has 5 stacks on the debuff, you can kill the boss to get his achievement. For this achievement, you have to put a Reef spot into the empty beam. Reefs is an engineering item, by the way. When close, Reefs will be locked into the beam and activate during the intermission. Pull the boss and fight to the intermission. During the intermission, kill your preferred ad and wait until Reefs activates. Reefs has quite a lot of HP, so be sure to use Heroism on him. Once you have killed Reeves, you can kill the boss to get his achievement. For this achievement, you have to let the boss burrow underneath the pillars in the correct order. Pull the boss and stack underneath the top left pillar whenever is best for your raid. When the boss hits the pylon, it will give out raid damage, but it's very manageable. Simply rinse and repeat on the top right, bottom right and bottom left pylon. Once all four pylons have been destroyed, you can kill the boss to get his achievement.
For this achievement, you have to pick up the three debuffs from the islands around the room. Each debuff will spawn during the start of the phases and will disappear after a few seconds. Build a boss and have a class that can jump the gap, run to the island where the first debuff spawns. The locations will be random. The first debuff will be a ticking dot or the entire rate. The second debuff, which spawns when the ads are up, will give you a movement reduction. And the final debuff will decrease your health. Once everyone in the raid has three debuffs, you can kill the boss to get its achievement. For this achievement, you have to pick up the artifacts during the work phases and bring them to the final room. The artifacts will be pretty hidden and you will need to be fast. I didn't manage to record the exact location, but I will put a high res version of the map in the description. Once the raid has collected the 6 artifacts, you have to stack near one of the glowing gates and 6 adds will spawn that will each heal the boss 1% every 3 seconds. Nuke down the adds and then kill the boss to get his achievement. For this one, you have to go back and collect the three haunting memories in the raid. One can be found with 4000. The second one is on the left island near Ximox behind the pile of sand. And the last one is right before Halandris. After you have collected the orbs, Anduin's grief will spawn during the King's Mourn Hunger's phase. You don't need to kill him during the first time you go in, his health will stay until the second group can finish him off easily. After you have killed Anduin's grief, you can kill Anduin to get his achievement. For this saucy achievement, you have to perform a task during the imposter phase. The imposter phase will start when Quintessa reaches 100 energy. During the phase, move to one of the bases with lights and turn on all the lights. It's a puzzle, so you need to find a pattern or just spam it. Once you've done your task, you can kill the boss to get his achievement. For this achievement, everyone in the raid needs to stand on the blue panels when you pull the boss. When done correctly, you will get the Herald of the Cosmos debuff, which increases your movement speed by 20%. When someone dies, you all instantly lose the debuff, so simply kill the boss without anyone dying. During the fight, you will also occasionally get knocked back or drawn in when it's very mild. And for the last achievement, you have to launch yourself into the orbs, floating above the holes. Wait until you have a bomb on you, and then hit the orb to collect it.
The orbs are only visible during the bombability phase and will always spawn at the same location. There are only 6 orbs which means you have 3 attempts to get an orb. If you fail all 3 attempts you have to wipe it. A good trick is to walk in the holes backwards and then turn mid-air. Once you have collected all 6 orbs, you can kill the boss to get his achievement. Hey, thanks so much for watching this guide until the end. Um, this actually took a lot of work, um, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this has helped you. I will be back in the next expansion with more guides, um, but I do have more stuff coming in the near future as well. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, take care and good night.